Hi and welcome back to my channel. Uh, got these two class 47s off uh, eBay last week. They're both as non-runners and bodywork in a terrible state. I got them so I can uh, rip out the motors to have them as uh, push pulls. And what I'm going to do is I don't care about the, the bodywork being in such a state because I'm going to uh, rust them all up anyway, like they're a scrap. So the first thing to do is strip them all down and give them a good clean. Yeah, I paid 20 quid each for these, plus uh, I think it was £3.10 postage with Hermes. Hermes are rubbish, they really are. It takes days to get to you. All right. This is just a short bit of my film, then I'll be carrying on after I've stripped them down. Yeah, this one you have to take the uh, buffers out. Because the buffers go into those holes. Holes there. This is in quite a bad state because the chassis is actually broken. The chassis is broken there. And on the other side as well. That's why the piece of card is in there I think. Somebody's tried to, uh, tried to repair it there. Like I say, it's, it's just going to get really rusted up for sat in, a, sat in a depot. And then you have to put the, the card in for the little, uh, little things that clip into here. It holds it in place. Mrs. this camera would focus on this phone. Right, on to the next bit. Next bit is to uh, release these two screws here. And then this uh, cover plate comes off so you can get the, uh, you can get it out of the frame then. As you can see, once you've uh, taken this bit off the bottom, that piece just, it comes straight out basically because it fits in, fits in like that and that piece there that we've just taken off holds that in position. So once you've taken this off, it just comes out like that. It'll probably be the same on uh, this but thinking that this clip, if I undo this clip, this piece here, this whole piece should just come out basically. Okay. As you see now the clip clips out. This just comes off. Because the clip holds it in there. And it just comes off. Next bit is to uh, take these two screws out so then I can get to the all the bogey wheels, give them a clean. And somebody's tried to paint like the the pipe work on the bogies there, so I'll be stripping that off. There we go, that's that bit uh, stripped down there. And for stripping the uh, the motor so the wheels will turn freely, you have to undo these two these two screws here, and it uh, should all fall to bits. You can you can turn it; it does turn. 
Like I say, I, I need to get into it and uh, strip the cogs out, basically. So that'll be freewheeling. That's what the inside's like. The brushes fit in there, which are there. I think this just all falls falls apart now. I think this might just come out. I'm not hundred percent sure. Yeah. Yeah, that just comes out. Sign the cogs. It just turns as free as anything now. Okay, that's that all stripped down now. So I'll just cut the wires off here. And the strip was there uh, from the pickups. That was underneath here. Just a case now of uh, washing everything down, drying it, putting it back together, give it a bit of lubrication, and then it'll be ready for me uh, putting my rust on it. Got my. Uh, Normal water, soapy water, with a little bit of uh, vinegar in it. It helps to clean the uh, the grease off. These are brilliant, these little containers you get for your sweeties. Don't throw them out, just keep them. Brilliant for doing little jobs like this with. Hi, yeah, that's everything uh, washed and cleaned up. I've uh, glued the weight onto the chassis the super glue and then where it's been cracked so so high that a load of super glue put on so hopefully that'll keep it solid now like that this bogey's been stripped down and all cleaned and then where the motor was that's all been stripped down and cleaned and I've taken the cogs off, so it just moves freely now. Just need to uh, reassemble it now. There we go, it's all put back together now. So all I need to do now is uh, weather and rust it up. And then it can sit on my track. Once I get that done, I know uh, my friend uh, at Jetmec, he keeps telling me to get my layout done. Yes, I know, I know, it's it's easier said than done sometimes. When I've got a room full of boxes, I need to get out. But it's all my train stuff. But uh, this one's been cleaned up now. And it's ready to be, uh, let's say, weathered and rusted up. It's quite bad, the, uh, I don't know what somebody's tried to do to it, like rub it down here and do something. But what I can do when I put the rust on, I've seen a lot of these uh, engines, they have like a tarpaulin. So what I'll do, I'll make a tarpaulin up to go over the top of it there to cover that up. Because with putting the uh, rust on there, it ain't going to cover it that well, I don't think. I'll just have to wait and see, see how it goes. That's it uh, all assembled, reassembled. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to my channel. I've only got uh, 61 subscribers and uh, I keep doing these videos but I don't get many views at all. 
If you could please view and uh, share, and uh, all comments are most welcome. Okay, thank you, and bye for now. Take care.